we're back in Guild Wars 1. We did play it a couple years ago. I uh, thought I'd pop back into it and see what it's like this year. I don't know if much has changed, but I do like to touch base with these games from time to time. And uh, Guild Wars 1 was definitely one of my favorites back in the day. Played the hell out of it. Played a ranger, in fact. So, I'm going to try a ranger. <laughs> Let's play a ranger. Let's play a ranger. Okay, uh, so we got some hairstyles. Let's choose. Choose a hairstyle. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Yeah, looks good. Okay. I think we're good to go. There's not too many options, but... Yeah, you got a couple. There were some different classes you could see in before on the other screen. In fact, let me just go back there so you can see it for yourself. You got the Warrior Ranger Monk, Necromancer, the Mesmer and the Elementalist. And if you go to a different expansion, say let's go Nightfall, you can see there's also the Dervish and the Paragon available. So there's some options there. Uh, over here, you've also got Assassin and Ritualist. So these are the three expansions. But we're going to go into Prophecies, which is the very first. And uh, fire that off. I think everything's saved. Good. Let's go with the green. Got to go green. Green Ranger Man. Yeah, that'll do. The last day dawns on the kingdom of Ascalon. It arrives with no fanfare, no tolling of alarms. Those who will remember will speak fondly of the warm morning breeze. People carry on with their daily lives, unaware that in a short while, everything they have ever known will come to an end. Scribe? Yes, my lord. These char are relentless, but we shall hold the wall at all costs. Yes, my lord. Take this message to Sir Titus. Go forth and recruit the strongest, the smartest. Bring to me the bravest in all of Ascalon. Find me the heroes who will lead our kingdom to glory. As you command, my king. Right, here we go. We are ready to begin our adventure. So, poor Ty... What's his name? T Titus? <laughs> it's, his only job is to find the best of the best within seconds. Titus? Town Crag, excuse me, sir. You're Dan right, aren't you? I think Sir Titus was looking for you. He said he had some good news for you. Well, he's got 100 gold for me. That's pretty good news. So we are a level one. Level 1 Ranger, pressing eyes from my inventory. Uh, you can equip extra bags over here, but I don't have any. And there's my portrait up there. I can hide some things. I think I can hide my mask. Always hide. Whoops. Yep, there we go, I can hide that. I can hide my cape. Yeah, but actually, I don't mind that cape. I like it. I might leave it up there for now. Representing my guild. My guild, once upon a time, a long time ago. Oh, there you are, my friend. I'm glad you were here. I have news that I think you'll appreciate. I've been looking for you everywhere, Dan. Our rival, the king, has ordered a new offensive against the Char. This is your chance for glory and adventure. But you'll need to know more about your craft before going north of the wall. I tell you what, travel to the southwest gate, which will take you to Lakeside County. I'll five Artemis, Artemis the ranger waiting for you outside. She can show you a trick or two. 
Okay. Thank you, Sir Titus. I'm on my way. Alright, so we'll go this way. What is my L for my quest log? War preparations. Alright, and we got a bow equipped, a starter bow. Out we go. Artemis the Ranger. Ah, you must be the aspiring ranger I was asked to meet. Alright then, let's get started. We'll begin by giving you some hands-on experience with your bow, but you should keep in mind that this profession requires a diverse, a diverse skill set. As a ranger, you'll have an opportunity to learn how to set traps, gain an animal companion, and use nature rituals to alter the entire battlefield. Believe you me. Enemies will fear your combination of range, speed, and toughness. Yes, it's a good, it is good to be a ranger. Oops, sorry. <laughs> and a nice little bow. Just wondering if I can move this at all. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. A horde of scale down by the river road has been hunting human prey to feed to their queen. You must put an end to this. If you can get them to flee into the woods, they should lead you right to her. Eliminate the Scale Queen and report back to me. So, she is going to reward me. Got some River Scale over here. Uh, she's going to reward me. With some abilities, it looks like. Which will be very welcome. So, enemies are in red. So Guild Wars 1 takes place a fair bit before uh, the events of Guild Wars 2. But I think maybe some of the music that you're hearing right now might be familiar. You probably hear it throughout when you're adventuring through Guild Wars 2. I know they utilize a lot of uh, Guild Wars 1 music. Yeah, it's a bit of a nostalgia hit, because I did play this when it originally released. It was... Uh, I think it came out around about the same time World of Warcraft came out. But I chose to play this instead of World of Warcraft. Around about the same time, a year later or something. I don't know, around, around then. I was also playing another game, which I might actually do a, do a small little series on again. Sir Titus was right. There is something special about you. I have no doubt that you can be entrusted with a few skills. Use them wisely. Haversdan should be here in a moment if you desire further guidance. Alright. There goes Artemis the Ranger and here comes Haversdan. So we got Power Shot Bow Attack. If Power Shot hits, target foe takes 25 damage if it hits. Uh, Troll Unjuant. Unguent, Unguent, skill for 30 seconds you gain plus 3 health regen, okay. Ah, there you go, okay. Uh, you're the ranger Sir Titus was telling me about, aren't you? Well, I imagine he's right that you've got potential, but potential won't save you from a char firestorm. Experience will. I suggest you head southwest to Ashford and talk to Tavona. To Devona. She's bound to have a task or two for you. Thank you. I'll take your advice. Alright, she is over that way. Which looks like, when I press M for the map, there is a road that leads me there. Now, uh, Artemis said if I get rid of them, the scale... I'll head towards the forest, right? And lead me to the... Oh, okay, here we go. Well, maybe that's what I took out. Maybe she was talking about attacking them so that would lead me to that area. I didn't really even take notice of what that thing was called. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. We kind of just skipped ahead. Hit him with the power shot. Oh, it does a lot of damage. 
So we've got some uh, loot here, which I probably won't use, but can sell. Oh, no need to do that. Got 100% health there. And uh, my energy, which is required to use that, is filling up. Power shot requires 10. Okay. Wilton Pace. Yeah, Guild Wars 1 has some beautiful music. Jeremy Soul. Jeremy Soul's music. I actually at one point had purchased all these extra soundtracks, which you could plug into the game. I don't know if it's still active or not. I think this is actually still my original install, just ported over from different computers. Oh, this guy's a tough guy. He needs that power shot. Alright, so we appear to be going the right way. I think it was you for- here we go. Yeah, you can bring up a little mini-map for you by pressing U. Can move that down there a little bit further. Got a merchant over here. Who will buy. The garbage I just picked up. Although... Oh, it's too late now, isn't it? Can I buy back? Um, I think maybe some of those items I picked up I could hand in. I would like to this guy. Hang on a second. Jacobs. No, he wants it. What's he want? He wants baked husks. So if I hand, if I collect these things, I can hand it to him and I can get some Crichton boots, for example. Which is probably better than what I've got on. Got plus 10 armor. 10 armor plus 30. This is 12 armor plus 30. Versus elemental damage. Okay. Bunch of worms over there. Uh, we need to go that direction. Ashford Abbey. There's another collector down there called Humphreys. Uh, Guild Wars 1, I believe, is now available on Steam to buy. Um, I got it a long time ago, I think. I think at the time... It... No, at the time, yes, it was a box copy I had. That's right. So I've got all three boxes. Yeah. Prophecies. Uh, actually, four boxes. Prophecies, factions, uh, Nightfall, and also Eye of the North. Devona. Whoops. Devona, I'm glad you've come. I can't seem to shake the feeling that there's some trouble on the horizon. And I'd be glad to have your help, if and when it arrives. In the meantime, there are plenty of people here who need assistance with one thing or another. And I'm sure you'll find the lessons you learn here to be invaluable in the future. I've heard talk among the townsfolk of unsettling rumours coming from Mirak the scribe. Instead of babbling to random strangers, he ought to send word to the authorities if he's come across something truly important. But I'm sure he's too engrossed in his books to think of anything practical like that. My duties in town keep me from looking into this matter myself. But if you could go to Ashford Abbey, to the north, and ask him about it, I'd appreciate it. I'll see what he has to say. Unsettling rumours? Alright, I guess I'll follow that then. Although she did just say to me some of these people might need some help, so... Pitney, what's up? Ah! These worms! Ah, oh, that'll be the death of me. They've driven me off my farm. Doesn't matter how many I kill, as long as there's a queen worm, more will be back the next day. Here's what I'm thinking. Worms love devourer eggs, right? Well, can you get a devourer egg from Fadden Hathorn for me? I'll use it to lure the queen into the open. Then you can squash her like the bug she is. I think I can handle a few worms. Okay, the worm problem. So if I go over this way, can I actually rotate the camera around without doing that? 
No. So you can click to move. Or you can use your uh, WASD if you like. River scale over here. I don't know if I can go this way. Red iris flower. It's worth five gold. Might as well pick it up. There's a lash devourer on the corner. You can see that swirly. That means there's a zone. Uh, transition point, I guess. There's a Lash Devourer. Hit it with that power shot. So I've got a... Recurve Bow, but there are several bows you can get. I think it's a short bow, long bow, recurve. Ah, uh, and there's another one. I think there's another one. I feel like there's another one. There's the Devour Egg. Yeah, out of all the MMORPGs I've played, I've never quite played one that with this type of control system. Right now I'm by myself, but later on, you can see over there party members, you can get other players to play with you as well. Um, but you can also have henchmen, um, and computer control players, you can later on get heroes to join you as well, which you can customize in their skill set, what they're wearing. Let's pick up our gold. Spike decks, more stuff to sell. Well, this is where we gotta go. Hopefully I can walk over this. Thank you very much. The Duke. What's happening, Duke? Fadden. Dead staff. There's a devour egg, I need that. I probably should talk to the Duke, but I want to get the Devour Egg first. Yeah, some of you might have played this, you know, it, it might be, what, 15 years, you know? Could be a real long time. Some of you may never have even seen this before. I'm sure people who played Guild Wars 2 have been curious, though. Obstructed. But yeah, you can you can play it solo. I'm sure you can go through the entire, uh, basically everything. You lack necessary finesse to remove the delicate eggs from their nest. Oh, okay, that's not nice. Well, he Fadden's over here. But Fadden don't want to talk to me. I guess I gotta to talk to the Duke. Let's we'll see what happens. Are you there? You look like a sturdy ranger. I've tasked my man Fadden here with retrieving devour eggs for me from the cave over yonder. However, he appears unmanned by the devourers. Afraid of being eaten or some rot like that. I need a brave soul to keep the devourers away while from Fadden while he does the job for which he has been paid. I'll protect Fadden. Let's go, Fadden. Am I- am I escorting you? Are you following me? He just walked straight into a wall. Okay. <laughs> Let's get these devourers. Although well, this one's still obstructed, so I don't know about that one. It's kind of- kind of all over the place there, Fadden. I guess he's trying to zig and zag so he doesn't get shot. 
Alright, that one's down. Fatted. This uh, Lash Devourer seems to be a little bugged. I can't, I can't hit it. And fat, unless I gotta be near him. Fatten? Buddy? Spill the blood of our foes! Come on, buddy. Okay, now he's, now he's moving. Just gotta stay with him. Nope. Nope, now he's scared. Come on, pal. This way. Hey. Fatten. Fadden. If you haven't noticed, I'm busy at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I got a feeling this devourer is messing him up. Okay. Well, I'll grab the flat bow. Is there anything else I can take out around here? There is certainly more over here. Pick that up. Um, yeah, I can't really do much about that, I don't think, so I'll just keep going. I'll clear them all out and see what happens. Whether I zone out and zone back in and it resets it. Don't know. Oh, here we go. Good on you, mate. He worked up the courage. use that to regenerate so this does four to six as a flat bow there you go um, but I can't I haven't customized it so the damage this one's got plus 20% damage so I imagine that's probably better to have right now oh leveled up beast mastery I would like to be a beast master get myself a tiger called Barry uh, but for now, I think you can just distribute these points, yep. And then when you go back to town, you can uh, sort of spend them however you want to spend them. I didn't actually want to choose expertise straight away, but anyway. Um, touch skills and range skills have been decreased by 4%. For several skills, especially those related to energy costs and skill recharge. Okay. I'm going to go marksmanship. Uh, marksmanship increases damage you do with your bows and your chance to inflict a critical hit when using a bow. Many ranger skills, especially bows attack skills, become more effective with higher marksmanship. Alright. Well, that sounds good to me. Uh, I've got one unused point, but what's this one here? No inherent effect. Many ranger skills, especially rituals, preparations, traps, become more effective with higher wilderness. Survival. Uh, rituals prep. Rituals and preparation. Oh, this one has an attribute for wilderness survival. Okay, so I could do that and would increase this by a bit. More effective now. It's another devour rig over here. I don't know if you picked up the other ones yet. It's a target. I'm just pressing C. And then I can press space to engage. I think that just chooses the closest target. C for closest target, I guess. So, Hathorn is safe as long as we don't get a whole bunch of devourers emerge around us. some purple dye well if you're watching this far into this episode um hi i'm dan and uh yeah i play i play mmorpgs that's what i do i don't really do reviews or little clips and all that sort of stuff I just sort of play through them or play them I like to experience them see what they've got so if you have a look at the other videos here you'll find plenty of those all right so did you get what you needed from here Maybe I gotta take out these guys. But yeah, if that's of interest to you, maybe consider hitting the subscribe button for more content and checking out all the other videos that I got.
I'm sure there'll be something there for you if you uh, kind of like the way that I play this so far. Play a fair bit of Star Wars The Old Republic, Elder Scrolls Online, Lord of the Rings Online. And have checked out a bazillion other ones. Alright, I'm hoping he picked up that egg. I was too busy talking when he said something or other. <laughs> I mean, it's possible that's just totally bugged up from that first one back here. Let's see what happens when I approach this one. But that is A-OK. -okay. It's not a, really a main mission or anything. Look, there's an egg! Yep, get it! Now uh, this will take a moment. Wait for me, will you? Oh, got it. Let's keep moving. Okay, so he said he's got that one. And I'm pretty sure I got the other one. So let's see if he can pick up this one now. Without freaking out. Where's he going? Yeah, I think he's freaking out again. Oh no, here he comes, here he comes. Come on. Oh, keep up. Courage. Have courage, man. You're so close. You're so close. Come on, buddy. You can do it. I believe. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna happen. See, sometimes you get like really close to him and you're able to take him out. I don't think it's happening. Oh, okay. So what I did is I equipped the axe and I'm able to hit him now. Okay. <laughs> I just tried to run this guy all over the cavern, but this is working. All right. So if this ever happens to you, just get that axe on or whatever. Maybe another melee weapon will work. But yeah, shooting with a bow just didn't work for me. Beautiful, alright. Now grab that egg so we can get the egg out of here. Oh my goodness. Look, there's an egg. Yep, there is an egg. There is an egg. <laughs> Mate, I see an egg right in front of me. And I'm not looking at the ones on the ground. Okay, we good? Got it. Let's keep moving. Thank you for your assistance. Let's get back to the Jew. Okay. That was about 10 minutes of me mucking around. <laughs> but I've done the science for you folks. Just hit it with a melee weapon. Oh, well done. Oh, well done. I'll give you a couple of eggs for your trouble. I'm not usually so generous, but I happen to be in a jovial mood in the moment. All right. So we got the egg. He gave us a couple. So we'll go back and we'll hand in that other quest. And I'll spare you the journey back. But we'll be there in a second. All right, we're coming back to Devona and Pitney around the corner. And this quest in. Oh, not much for the city. Nope, Ashford is more my speed. Say, what seems to be on your mind? The worm problem. All right, I'll try to lure the queen into the open. You do the killing. Okay. Go on, Pitney. I'm right behind. I'm right beside and behind. I'm all around, all encompassing. Yes, but this has been a nice little return to the old ye oldy Guild Wars 1. Always, uh, whenever I come back, I always, always remember this place and these locations and the music and the atmosphere. It's a happy time. Where is this Worm Queen, Pitney? Wonder if they'd ever consider remastering this game. Not so much a remake or anything like that, just, you know. Oh, look, give, it a, give it a little remaster or a... I don't know, actually, maybe it is a remake. But the type of remake that, uh, like, the Master Chief edition of Halo 1. That type of thing. 
just graphically it looks nicer and more 2023. Hang on, buddy. There's plague worms all around you. There she is, killer. You better run, Pitney. Let's get that going. Every turn, I can use a power shot. Until then, I'm auto attacking. Ah, uh, gotcha. And I got your baked husk, too. Oh, what the heck? Wolf? Wolf's attacking me. Some bandits in the distance. Yep, yep. Another big power shot coming up. Get a heal going. Come on, take it down. Drop that wolf. Good thing these plague worms don't seem to spit out anything. Oh, thank you so much. These worms won't be a problem now. No worries, Pitney. I'm clear out, buddy. What's wrong? Well, I'm at a loss. First, there was worms, and now someone has stolen my prize mower bird. To make matters worse, the tracks seem to indicate that whoever took her led off to the catacombs. I don't have to tell you how dangerous it is down there. But wait, you're a strong ranger. Would you be willing to find my poor bird and bring her back? I'll find your bird. Will I? I don't know. Where do I have to go for that? I think it's over here. Uh, so... Yeah, it looks like it's leading me over there. That's an entrance to the catacombs. Let's have a look at these items we've got. Two baked husks. I guess if I afford another one, I might be able to get three and then go to the collector, right? Let's try that. If we can get another one. Oh. Back out here. It was three baked husks, right? I'm gonna go back thinking it's three and hoping it's three. If not, uh, I will just come back a little bit later. Just gotta make sure I hang on to them though. Three, it is three. Okay, cool. So we can get those Crichton boots, which will give us one plus two armor. So I'll exchange those three for that. I'll pop on my Crichton boots. There we go. Exchange it for the rawhide. Although personally, I like the way my rawhide boots looked. But that's okay. So I'll sell to you. My rawhide boots, which are worth zero. Ah, uh, I don't think you want to buy them at all. You don't want to buy the junk. So I'll just throw it. Oh, okay, you throw it on the ground. Good. Uh, I've got my devour rig. Oh, they gave me two of them. Do I need a second one? I wonder if they give you two because you might... If the quest fails, you got another chance to do it. Well, anyway, I'm going to go head over to this place. If you enjoyed this episode, do me a favor, hit the like button. Let me know. Share some of your Guild Wars 1 experiences. And I'll see you in the next video.